I recall when the Surrey Homelessness and Housing Society started up and I remember thinking that I was impressed by the fact that Surrey had basically taken a stand and, and set a tone for appreciating the significance of the issue of homelessness in Surrey and setting aside funds to address it. The impact of Surrey Homelessness and Housing Society has been uh, very positive. In 2012, we had quick kitchen upgrades for our site at 135A, uh, allowing us to uh, provide more meals to people who are homeless. Another great initiative that we received some support from the Society on was a, a building we opened earlier this year called Crawford Manor. Um, and thanks to a grant contribution from the Society, we were able to acquire that building. Um, and now we provide uh, 11 young men aged 19 to 24 uh, battling addiction concerns with an opportunity to, to turn their lives around and have a stable residence with fantastic support programs to help them do that. We've also re received emergency funding for our rig dig programs um, which really was helpful in a time when there were, was a funding gap. We've received a number of grants that have upgraded our facilities. It's been a great asset to our society and just being able to say that we received money from um, this society has boosted our ability to receive funds from other organizations as well. The biggest impact to date is probably a million dollar grant that we received for the Maxine Wright Place, which enabled us to complete that project and for the past seven years we've been providing critically needed services to women and children. Uh, the Society has allowed us to purchase a van that will be used to support vulnerable women and girls who are on the street and need our help. Surrey Homelessness and Housing Society has impacted uh, our society greatly because it helps support um, dollars towards building an affordable uh, project which we have right here. It's given us an opportunity to open up dialogue. It's given us an opportunity to support our youth housing programs. I think most importantly, we've started a, a collective impact dialogue about how to address Indigenous youth homelessness in Surrey, you know, in a, in a really kind of comprehensive long-term strategy. Without the Surrey Homelessness and Housing Society, we would not have safe affordable, amazing housing for 11 young people in Surrey. It's enabled us to grow capacity to be able to serve homeless women, to be able to take young mothers with uh, poly substance abuse um, who are, had neonatal exposed children and are now working through their own recovery and addressing those detox issues for their children. And secondly, through enabling us to expand um, and plan for the expansion of our women's shelters. The Surrey Homelessness and Housing Society has been a significant partner in, for, for options in delivering homelessness services to the community of Surrey um, by the way of grants, um, but also really leadership. They've been a strong uh, community voice for people facing homelessness and also the nonprofits that serve people who are homeless in Surrey. What I'm particularly um, really thrilled about is the partnership that we've had with the society when it comes to um, Bill Reed Place in Cloverdale. And doors will open uh, this fall and we will have 28 uh, beds to serve uh, Surrey's most vulnerable. On a personal note, for those of you who know, um, Gary Robinson was my late husband. He served on Surrey Council with Judy. Uh, and uh, I, I just want to um, again stress how, how um, grateful we were to receive that first grant and how much it meant to him to be um, amongst you all again, um, contributing in a in a positive way to this city that he loved so very much. I want to thank Surrey Homelessness and Housing Society um, for, for their dedication and hard work in bringing solutions to very, very difficult issues. Happy anniversary, everybody, and, and uh, certainly many thanks for all of the contributions that your fund has helped create within our system. Uh, the city. Uh, there continues to be a substantial lack of affordable housing in this community 
and in particular um, housing and supports for those most vulnerable in Surrey. Um, that's not a fight that the Surrey Homeless and Housing Society can, can win alone, um, but it is you know, definitely something to continue to be aware of and advocate for all levels of government and all organisations to do what they can to help flip and hopefully bring these much needed resources to Surrey. Thanks a lot. Congratulations, it's been an organization I think that's not looked necessarily to respond to immediate need, but has very much looked to see what did they need to grow a community response and to build capacity within the community to take on problems. Thank you to the Surrey Homelessness and Housing Society on behalf of Pacific Community Resources and all of the young people that we serve. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do the amazing work that we do. Congratulations and uh, look forward to working with you for the next decade. Congratulations Surrey Homelessness and Housing Society on 10 years. Happy anniversary. It's great that you're 10 years in existence and we look forward to continuing our relationship. Congratulations uh, and thank you for your commitment to serving Surrey's most vulnerable. Uh, we are proud to work alongside you and we look forward to another 10 years.